congrats on your performance. How happy are you with your, uh, your performance out there? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm super happy. You know, it's always great to have a first round finish. Um, you know, when I was younger, I didn't think I'd be able to get 14 r wins in a row. I remember, uh, you know, being an amateur fighter or, you know, a local pro and seeing these guys that were, you know, 6 and 0, 7 and 0, just getting signed to the UFC. And then thinking, like, wow, like, how do these guys manage these streaks? And a lot of them had, you know, first round finishes consistently. And I would always be, you know, amazed watching that. And now I've, Every, every fight, I feel like I, you know, get further and further away from that. And I'm still kind of like, wow, like, how did I manage to get this many wins in a row? Um, it's a, you know, and the guys are getting tougher, too, for sure. But I feel great. Well, outside of that, I have to go back to the, to the weigh-in. What happened on the weigh-in? You know, why do you think the, the, the door came in and disconnected? <laughs> yeah, no, we were just trying to, you know, a different way of, uh, of, of cutting the weight. Every time you want to find the the, the most efficient way on how to do it, you know, a way to uh, make it less stressful on your body. And uh, we, you know, we, we messed up, but uh, it's, it, we're going to go, you know, go back to the old ways of doing it because, you know, we haven't missed weight up till this point. So um, we're really sorry to the UFC and Benito and Team Alpha Male, but we're, we're going to fix that. Yeah, uh, I think he made some joke, but, it, you know, he... Uh, <laughs> Me and him had a little bit of, you know, like trash talk. I never really felt like it was like real trash talk. I thought it was kind of like more to get everybody riled up. He he seemed he always seemed like a sweet, nice kid. And then uh, I, I stood up and he stood up and he's, he said, I think, like, damn, you're tough or something like that. And then I was like, well, look at you. Or, you know, some other like joking back and forth thing. But, you know, Benito is a good kid. And I, I really do hope that he has the best career possible from, from this point moving on, you know. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I want to keep on fighting the uh, up and coming guys. I want to keep, um, I want to fight all the young, new, undefeated kids that, that are popping up on the radar. Uh, I don't see any reason that, you know, we, we, we don't fight each other. I think it's it's cool because you get to see uh, the up and coming talent that, you know, has grown up doing this their whole lives. And, uh, you know, at some point we're, we're going to move on to fighting the, the veterans, the old school guys. And maybe if, if they take a couple losses, we end up fighting them too. But and also, you know, whatever Sean Shelby and Dana White say, because we really don't do the matchmaking here. <laughs> How many ways away do you think you are from getting to that task of becoming? Uh, honestly, I, I don't know. Hopefully it's a couple more. But, uh, you know, every fight I feel like I, I, I feel like every fight a new challenge. You know, every fight you end up seeing a different kind of fighter, a different kind of style. Um, and luckily, I've been able to, you know, deal with all those styles that have come up to me. Maybe it's when uh, people, you know, it's whenever people want to see me against a certain name, a certain kind of fighter. And, you know, like I said, it's kind of Sean's, Sean and Dana and all of them, whatever they think is going to get the most uh, views and money and all that. Is it, can, can I say something else or can I say one more thing too? Um, <clears throat> so I have a good friend back home, you know, uh, his family has always supported me and, and they've always been, you know, great people to me. Uh, and, you know, he unfortunately is a little, a little ill. But uh, Mason Jovi, he's one of my you know biggest role models, and he's he's a great kid. And I you know I would like to see him, uh, you know, brought up into the light. He has a foundation, I believe it's the uh, is it the Jovi Foundation? It's the Jovi Foundation. If everybody could look into it and uh, you know think about chipping in whenever they can, I think that would be you know awesome for for the family. I'd appreciate it a ton, you know. Yeah, I'll put, I'll put a link up on my social media too. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Jesus. I, I never know what to do with my stupid hands, dude. You want me to put them? <laughs>